Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2008 guys. Okay, so the given question is which of the following is a correct attribute set of one of the table for the correct answer to the above question is. Okay, so is this a continuation question guys? Because I think uh, this question doesn't make that much sense. Yeah, this is a continuation question. So first, I think we shall solve this, guys. Uh, so then we'll move on to that. Okay, yes. So this also belongs to the same year. Okay, so they give ER diagram and they are saying the minimum number of tables needed to represent M, N, P, R1, R2. So M, P, M, N, P, R1, R2. Okay. So what we can analyze here. So in the question, did he give any relation in between this M and R guys? Okay. So the only thing which I can observe here is, so this is a table here. So indirectly, this will be one table and this will be one table and this will be one table. So this three is minimum, right? So option A is wrong. Okay. Similarly, moving on. Okay. So moving on here, he clearly told that this is a total dependency, right? And this is also total dependency and this is a partial dependency and this is also partial dependency. So indirectly, whenever he gave in this way, so what we can assume here guys, and he clearly told that here M1 is primary key and here N1 is primary key. So indirectly, whenever he is saying in this way, so when we are working with this and he told in this, this is the primary key. So if we want to maintain the relation, so indirectly this relation is like one to many only, right? Yes. So I think it will be better if we bring this particular P1 towards this, right? So I will add P1 here and similarly, so now this will be balanced. Okay. And similarly on this side also, I will write P1. Okay. So now this will be the final thing and a total of three tables will be enough, right? Because there is no many to many relation here. So I think a minimum of three tables are required, right? Yes. So now in the next question, what did they ask? So they are asking which of the following is a correct attribute set for one of the table for the correct answer to the above question. Okay. So now they are asking among these tables so here these are tables right indirectly so these are the attributes which you have finally wrote so now they are saying which of them will match to this list so let us start matching so m1 m2 m3 p1 so this is matching m1 p1 n1 n2 not matching m1 n p1 n1 not matching m1 p1 not matching so option a is the correct answer got it yes so this question seems to be really easy right Yes. So it's a paid question, but it's an easy question, right? Yes. Okay. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question, right? Yes. Okay. So this question, if you are clear with the, how we are finding the number of tables, you can easily solve it, right? Yes. So the trick which we applied here is, so as there is primary key and this is a relation, so we brought that table here and now these two are maintaining that relation. And similarly, when it comes to these two, so this is a partial relation, right? Like uh, it is not a primary key directly. So it's a partial key. So we combined these two members and we made a key, right? Yes. So with that conclusion, we made three tables and with, in that question, they asked what is the exact values here, right? Yes. Okay. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.